Mortensen from MassInSports.com making his first big league road trip tonight in Detroit. Brendan, how's the experience working? Oh, what's better than this, Brad? I mean, it's perfect weather here in Detroit and just a great night for baseball. Well, it was a great opening act for Ryland Bannon, Orioles infield prospect yesterday, making his major league debut. Yeah, Ryland Bannon gets his second start at third base tonight. Had a great game yesterday. The Orioles have had some injuries in the infield, so Ryland Bannon able to come up and fill that gap. It's been a whirlwind stretch for him, and I got a chance to catch up with Ryland and ask him what these last few days have been like. So, Ryland, obviously it's been a crazy stretch for you here. Can you just walk me through what the last few days have been like for you? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been pretty hectic, you know. Um, feels like just yesterday I was I was in Nashville with, with Norfolk, and then all of a sudden getting the call to go on taxi squad is, is just kind of a precautionary thing. And then, boom, out of nowhere, an hour before the game yesterday, I was I was told I was being activated, playing third base, hitting seventh, and uh, yeah, it all happened so fast. Which, kind of in hindsight, I was talking to my parents about it. It was probably kind of a good thing, you know. I didn't have much time to to think about it, so I uh, kind of just went out there and did my thing, and then everything uh, it went well. Man, it, it was a pretty surreal feeling out there, and. Uh, something I'll never forget. So backtracking a little bit, in 2019 you had some success in Norfolk. Obviously the 2020 season gets canceled and then last year probably didn't go the way that you were hoping it would. Right. How frustrating was that for you after having that success previously at that level already? Yeah, you know, it was, it was definitely uh, not exactly how I would have drawn it up, but uh, yeah, getting canceled in 2020 was tough for me, you know. It, just, just losing out a lot of those reps is made for a a long year and a, a tough coming back for that that next season you know and then face some adversity uh you know I, I had an oblique strain last year and dealt with some other shoulder stuff there the remainder of the year and uh, it made it definitely a little bit harder to play and um but yeah kind of working through all that is something i think i needed you know looking back on it taking the positives away from it um definitely made me stronger for sure um and you know you're gonna hit struggles up here as well and then i think that going through all that down there really uh it's gonna make it a little bit easier to get through some stuff like that up here uh, obviously something clicked for you at the beginning of this year. What do you think was the biggest difference? I think I just relaxed. Um, you know, after going through everything, like I said last year, I, I grew a lot from that. You know, I learned a lot about myself and how to handle that adversity. So I, I, I think I just kind of uh, I taught myself how to relax and just kind of play ball. You know, it, things aren't always going to go your way. And this is a game of failure, you know. So just, just kind of going through that and then uh, I think I think that's helped me out a ton this year. So yesterday you had a really strong start. You get the web gem in the first inning and then a base hit on the first pitch you see. What was that like getting those out of the way pretty early on? Yeah, you know, making the play at third in that first inning was, uh, that definitely crushed all the nerves. Uh, you know, doing that, it, after that it was like, you know what, screw it, like, let's go. Like, this is like, it's the same game up here. You know, it's, it's the big stadiums, you know, the lights are on and stuff like that, but like, it's the same game, you know, and that's what everybody says when they come down and they talk to you about playing in the big leagues. Like, it's, you go up there and just play your game and you're going to be all right. And uh, once I made that play, I definitely did, I had that feeling, you know, it's just like, this is baseball, you know, this is what I do. Now, what do you think it is about your game that you think will help you carve out a role here in the big leagues? Yeah, you know, I, I think I bring uh, a lot to the table. You know, I, I, I used, my player comp back in the day was always Dustin Pedroia, and I, I I can see that like, with my energy that I bring to the field every single day. I play hard. I'm going to give it my all. Um, kind of like Austin Hayes. I love watching Austin Hayes play. He plays really hard every single play. And uh, I think that's something I bring to the table. And then finally, we've seen you, Tyler Nevin, and Kyle Bradish all get promoted so far. How exciting is that for you to be a part of that group of prospects that's coming up, joining some of the talent that's already here? Yeah, you know, it's awesome to see uh, some of us finally get our opportunity up here. Um, you know, when they when they both got called up, Tyler was up here a little bit last year, but um, seeing Bradish do his thing up here, that was that was awesome. You know, we're all we're all huddled around the, the TV after games and stuff down in Norfolk, watching all the guys get called up. So it's it's definitely an awesome opportunity to be one of those guys. And uh, yeah, it's awesome for this organization. You know, just finally some of the guys that they uh, uh, thought that the Orioles have a future with are kind of starting to, to make their way into the big leagues, and it's awesome to see. Well, players like Ryland Bannon are excited, and fans should be excited as well, Brett. We've seen this first wave of prospects get called up, and there's some big names to come.